you so much for making this far into the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that short little montage. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of it. Either leave a comment or you can hop onto the new Discord uh, that will, or the new Discord server that will be linked in the description. Uh, I've never had a Discord server, so if it's not good, uh, that's probably why. But uh, you guys can also help me out with uh, making that any better if it needs obviously improvements. But I wanted to say one, just thank you guys so much for the support recently. I went from 100 subscribers to 200 subscribers very quickly, and then from then on, uh, I think I'm at like I'm at like 280, and I just did a 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, which also kind of brings me to my next point. Uh, huge shout out to Devin H08. He was one of the giveaway winners, and he actually reached out to me, and he has he has a YouTube channel, and he's going to be posting more on there. And uh, I figured I'd help him out a little bit, uh, help his channel get going. So yeah, make sure you go check it out. Link in the description. Also, shout out to my brother. Uh, his channel is Clayton Collins. It will also be linked in the description, along with a bunch of other things, including the Discord and my Instagram. If you would prefer to contact me through that. Also. On my Instagram, uh, I do post more stuff that's not necessarily on my YouTube. Like, I have a mag decal video that I haven't posted on YouTube yet. And, uh, sorry for not posting last week. I was a little busy, and I really wanted to work on this video. Uh, I didn't really want to put it off to the side any longer. And I was really excited to make it, that's for sure. Then I had problems with editing and whatnot. And I had to send my Kathira back to get fixed and whatnot like that. Please consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you would like to. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to what parts are on this gun because I did not cover them all in the unboxing. First, I'm just gonna start off with all the accessories or attachments that are on the gun. Starting off with a $40 Amazon red dot. Pretty nice red dot. Um, I just never used it much because with a die mask, it's hard to get your cheek weld low or your cheek low enough on your stock to see out of it. I may or may not leave it on there. So in future videos, if it's not on there, that's probably why. Next, I just have a $25 Amazon flashlight, which I will have a review on later um, in the coming weeks here. And uh, it's actually pretty bright. I, it said 1,200 lumens, not really sure about that. But it is pretty bright. It comes with a pressure pad. Like I said, it's $25. Though the first one I got broke very quickly, and I sent it back to them, and they sent me a brand new one. This one seems to be holding up just fine. It also is rechargeable. So that's pretty cool. Also attached to this rail... Uh, which is holding the flashlight is a M lock Picatinny, or I'm sorry, M lock two Picatinny mount. And uh, the flashlight actually came with this 45 degree mount. And on the underside of this rail, I have a M lock hand stop. It came from an M lock hand stop kit made by Magpole. Uh, this is the original one. This is on, and this is only a part portion of it just because the whole thing doesn't really fit on there too well. I am eventually going to probably switch it out for a 3D printed one, since I'm going to try and switch out a decent amount of this stuff for 3D prints. The rail itself is a G&G ARP9 rail. Um, it's M-Lock, obviously, and the outer barrel is also from my G&G ARP9. Like I said, I'm going to be switching out a lot of these for 3D printed parts, including those two parts I just named off. Those will be switched. I'm still in the works of making the 3D printed rail. I'm still designing it. And the outer barrel, I might... I may or may not be able to do because my printer cannot do threads um, that are that small. But yeah, so moving on to the back, we're going to look at the stock itself. The stock is actually really cool. It's 3D printed. It's skeletonized. You know, it's pretty nice. Uh, it definitely took some work for me to get it to fit on here. But I will be leaving the file in the description. Now I'm just going to move on to more of the other parts here, outer parts. Buffer tube is just from a Lancer Tactical gun. It's just polymer, and I just have it screwed on. Eventually, I'm going to switch it out for a different one. Uh, I have this grip. This is just a stock grip, which I stippled. And if you would like something stippled like this, let me know. There's plenty of ways you can contact me, and we can work out a good price because I do them for a lot cheaper than other companies, usually around $25 to $30, depending on what you want. But anyways, next part. This is a red ambidextrous mag release. I forget the brand, but it is in my unboxing video. Most of the parts, well, actually all the parts right here are in the unboxing video. Um, it's just, a, I just have a random gearbox in here. I don't even know what brand it was. 
Uh, I had to file it down a little bit to get it fit. I talk about that in the extended build video, which will also be linked in the description. I have a Polar Star, Polar Star Kythera powering the whole thing, uh, which is amazing. It doesn't have the best trigger response, but it's still pretty good. As you can see, it is not too bad. A little bit different compared to other guns, but uh, it's definitely still fun. Next, I just have a DT or DT hop-up unit with a 6.03 outer barrel. It uh, shoots pretty straight, shoots good groups, besides when it's windy. I'll also have a shooting video at the end of this, right after this. Uh, the trigger is just a 3D printed flat trigger. Will be linked in the description as well, if I, as long as I can still find the file. The last part of this, which is what's holding it all together, is the EMG F1 firearms skeletonized receiver set or something like that. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this portion here. Now on to the shooting video.